Welcome back to another episode of Growing with Lala's Crops. So in today's video, you guys, as you can tell, we are in the corn and sunflower patch. So this morning, I decided to come out and I noticed that some of the corn plants were producing some silt, you guys. So a little backstory, I was nervous at first because as you can tell, these are not like the tallest corn plants, nor are they the thickest. And that's because I did not feed them correctly. I had reached out to like a Facebook page because I was just frustrated. I thought that this was gonna be like my third failed attempt at growing corn, but a lot of people um, gave me some suggestions on what to do, like what to feed them. And you guys, these things picked up and they started to develop these silks. Let me go on the other side. So I am excited to share with you guys how I am going to go in here and hand pollinate my corn. So if this is something that you are interested in watching, stay tuned. When you do not have a whole lot of rows of corn, it is beneficial to go in and hand pollinate. Now I do, I only have two rows. But as I mentioned in my mulching corn video, that I decided to double up in each of the square foot, you guys. So I technically have two plants in a 12 inch spacing. I have a total of 14 plants growing in here. Unfortunately, all of them have not tasseled yet or started to develop silks, but that's okay because we have some plants that have silks on, on them. And so I'm just going to attend to those and make sure that those are getting pollinated. Um, as you can tell, it looks like some of the pollen with how I spaced out the plant, it looks like some of the silks are getting pollinated, but not enough. As you can see that they are starting to turn colors right here, but they still have, you know, some ways to go as far as getting pollinated, fully pollinated. Plants usually have a female and a male portion to them. So the silks are the female portions of the corn. And then we go up, up, up. Then we have the male, which are the tassels. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to, I'm going to collect the pollen from the male and bring it on down to the female down here. And I'm going to repeat this process maybe about two times a day, um, every day until these silks get fully pollinated. For any new gardeners who have not, who has never planted corn, I learned over the years that, ooh, the butterfly, that each of these silks will produce a kernel on the cob. If you ever see a corn, a corn on the cob that is missing a kernel, that's due to the fact that, um, you know, one of the silks did not get fully pollinated. So I'm trying to make sure I have a full corn on the cob with, you know, all of the kernels fully developed so yeah that's the reason why i'm going to go in and make sure that i hand pollinate these silks because they are peeping out and ready to get pollinated you guys i really want some corn this year and it looks like finally i will be getting some corn and i have already decided to start a new corn patch because you know i learned from my mistake and you know next time i'm going to apply what i've learned so that we can get a little bit more corn before winter hits so i just continue that uh process of planting and being able to harvest it's just you know what i'm trying to do this year just to have rotation of crops to place out into the garden so that we can have a continuing harvest of certain vegetables and fruits all right so I gave you the back history about corn plants. So let's get started. Okay, so it is hot today. <laughs> Ooh, I am sweating. All right, so I am going to try to get to each of these tassels. So yeah, I have a sealant tray and, and then I placed some white paper, sheets of paper in here. Um, and the reason why I'm using white is because the pollen is usually yellow. When I collect the pollen, I Split, uh, fold the paper in half and now you can see all of that pollen which is the yellow specks 
on this piece of paper, you guys. And you kind of want to do this when it's not too windy, you guys. So I need to go ahead and put this on here. All right, so we're going to go down here. And release this pollen onto these silks, you guys. Make sure that you get all of these silks. Okay. All right, you guys. So I'm going to move on to another tassel. And like I said, you guys, I'll probably do this twice. I'll go back through twice. But on a video, I'm just going to show you once. Take this tassel. And I'm going to do it this way, you guys. Ooh, this way. Go this way. Go this way. I hope I don't bend this too much. I feel like I'm being a little too extra, but I just want to make sure I get all the pollen <laughs> off of the tassels. That's a good amount of pollen that I have collected. Let me show you. So that's a good amount of pollen that I have collected on this sheet of paper. So as always, if you fold it in half, let me show you. Once I fold it in half, you are able to see all of that good pollen on this white sheet of paper. And so I'm just gonna go ahead, crease this up, and then go down to the silk, you guys. All right, so I'm just gonna bring this and make sure I get all of these silks. Make sure that they get pollinated. So I still have some in here. All right, I'm gonna repeat the same process, you guys. And you guys, in a few minutes, I'm gonna show you a sign that you can look out for that will help determine like if you can expect some silks to develop soon on your plants. All right, so I'm gonna get this big tall one up here, right here. Oh my goodness, look at all that pollen. Oh. Get on there. All right, we're gonna collect this pollen today, honey. Right now, I'm going to have to reach in here and pollinate this one. So I'm going to collect from these plants also. Don't wanna miss out on any pollen. Let me go down here. Collect all of that pollen. Okay, get over to this one also. Yeah. Fold up my paper. This silk right here is starting to develop, but I'm going to wait till, until that comes out a little further um, to pollinate that one. Sadly, um, as I was hand pollinating this corn, I did notice uh, an earworm trying to, um, you know, make its way, trying to make its way through this uh, corn, this ear of corn. So <sighs> that's another thing that you want to watch out for as these ear of corns start to develop is the corn earworm you guys they will make their way into your corn and start eating uh the insides of your corn so um i will have to start doing my uh pesticide regimen for these corns and some of my other plants also you guys because yeah oh, the pests are out unfortunately and they're getting on my nerves so, um, but yeah, I'm going to do whatever it takes to keep these corns protected because yeah, we're going to get some corns. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've already showed you how you can hand pollinate. So yeah, you guys, I wanted to show you as a sign to look out for when you can hopefully expect silks to start to develop on your corn. Um, usually like a corn, you know, when it gets a certain height, it's just straight up and down. But once it starts to put, I call it little hips. 
<laughs> from the bottom this stalk is straight 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 and then when it gets up here it curves out and i call that like a little hip i'm not using the correct terminology this is just what i call it but yeah that's usually where ear of corn will eventually develop as you can tell from this plant it's straight it was straight all the way up here and then it starts to curve and that's where a, a ear of corn will start to develop and here's another example this is the one i had the earworm trying to make its way into my corn Ugh, i don't like earworms um, but same inst uh, instance for this uh, corn plant. You see it's just straight up and down. And then it starts to develop that hip. <laughs> it starts to, to develop that hip. And then usually that's where the ear of corn will start to develop and then shoot out its silk. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys uh, for any new gardeners out there. But as you can see, like, you know, the corn stalk starts to, you know, Put the little hip on and yeah that's where so i know that um eventually this corn plant will produce an ear also now where it will shoot out i'm not sure i'm guessing it's going to be uh at either right here or possibly right here up here so we'll see so comment below which area you guys think the silk on this uh, corn plant will develop. I'm going to say leaf one, leaf two, or leaf three. Comments below. And once it, I'm hoping it, it will develop some a silk or ear of corn on this plant. But once it develops, then I will give you guys an update. Whose answer is correct, you guys? So I'm going to show you uh, up close so that you can get the full. So this is leaf one towards the bottom leaf one and then leaf two right here let's get in close Ooh, more pollen is falling you guys and then this is leaf three right here and leaf four is right here so so yeah put your answer down in the comments below sometimes i'm going to play play like little games in my videos so yeah this is my first little game with you guys to see like what what did you guys think so my answer is <laughs> i don't know i think i'm going to say looking at it i'm going to say leaf number three so this is one two three i'm going to say leaf number three i'm hoping that i will still have some pollen to uh pollinate the ear of corn i want to make sure that i protect these things from away from the earworm but um, as you can see so far, these tassels are starting to turn, which means that um, they are starting to get pollinated. If you guys get up close enough, I'm not sure if you can, if my camera is going to pick, pick it up, but you can actually see like the little specks of pollen on the silks. So that can help you determine like, you know, which ones are getting pollinated. If you don't have like a whole bunch, a whole lot of plants, some people grow a lot of plants so they may not have time this is maybe time consuming but i don't have that many so um i can see like the little specks of pollen that are um, that are sticking t uh, on the silks so that uh, you know i can know which ones are getting pollinated and which ones i will need to pollinate still pollinate you guys so but for the most part it looks like i put some pollen on all of them but yeah, I just want to share that over here also. So um, I will definitely repeat this process tomorrow morning using, uh, the, you know, collecting more pollen from the tassels. I'm hoping that they will produce more pollen tomorrow morning and, um, you know, just go down and keep continue to pollinate these silks until they turn brown you guys i forgot to show you guys um the bush beans that i decided to um interplant between the corn plants they are starting to produce some flowers finally but they are starting to develop some uh flowers you see this little white flower right here it's suggested to you know um do the three sisters 
when you are planting like corn such as beans and squash i don't i don't eat squash and and i did not want to fight all of the pests that comes with growing squash such as the vine borer every year i just grow the corn with bush beans and uh sunflowers you guys and call it a day <laughs> i'm not trying to do the squash i'm just not trying to deal with those pests i already have to maintain these corn plants so yeah i will keep you guys posted and i will also make new videos um for any progress especially harvesting day <laughs> so uh but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video showing you how i hand pollinated my peaches and cream corn that i planted i think it was back in march i don't have the tag on me but yeah i think i planted uh this corn back in march um like i said you guys i at first i was a little worried because the tassels tassels started to develop or started to shoot out before the silks emerged but you know with giving it some fertilizer i will make a video about the fertilizer that i gave these plants um, but yeah i had to learn that i needed i needed to change up the fertilizer that i was feeding these plants because corn plants are really heavy feeders you guys so in order to receive corn you really have to feed them and water them well you guys and you know just care for them you know make sure you keep those earworms off of your plants because yeah like let me show you um if you can tell right here oh it's just it's producing all this but if you could tell right here um something looks like something was eating at it and of course it was earworm that was eating at the tassel so you ha really have to be mindful about pests also you guys and you know them trying to devour especially like these corn plants Oh, here's another good example. Like, look at that hip. Look at that hip. That hip. <laughs> so some of these are looking like they want are going to produce an ear. So I'm really excited about that. It's just they need to go ahead and emerge so that, you know, I can use this pollen from the tassels. So I do know that I, I have a plant. Oh, it's over there. Let me show you. So this, this plant, I don't know, it may produce a silk, but it may not, I don't, I'm not sure. But at least I can utilize these tassels once they start to, you know, um, start shedding uh, pollen, you guys. So, but that, that's, that's um, what I've been doing for a majority of these uh, plants because some of these up front have not developed any silks yet but i'm still using the pollen from the tassels and you know pollinating the silks that have emerged you guys so but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i surely did because that means you know i see these silks and i am getting a chance to hand pollinate them so that means that corn will be here soon you guys I don't know, I, I, I may have to do me a little special dance once I harvest my corn and yeah, and share with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to do four things, you guys. Like this video, comment below what your answer is or on what leaf you think the silk will emerge on this corn plant. I'm gonna call it corn plant three, but on leaf either on leaf one two three or four comment below don't forget to also subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so that you can get notified once i post a new video as always you guys happy gardening peace